Hi everyone, I made this cake for my birthday. It was a walnut cake filled with mascarpone mousse and whipped chocolate ganache with walnuts. This is one of my favorite cakes so far. Each bite is the perfect balance of crunchy walnuts, rich chocolate and a creamy mascarpone mousse. I'll leave the links to the cake and filling recipes in the video description. I made a lady hat 4 days in advance. This is needed so that the gum paste has time to dry out. If it's still a bit soft, it will bend or crack once you place the hat on the cake. You have a link to a separate tutorial in the video description to see how I made this. I made a lady face out of gum paste after my cake was assembled and frosted. This is because I wanted my gum paste image to be wrapped a bit around the cake, so I had to place it right away on the cold cake. If you wait for too long, the gum paste hardens, so it will be impossible to bend it. I made this by transferring an image to gum paste and painting it. You have a link to a separate tutorial on how to do this in the video description. And now let's stack and fill the cake. I baked two cakes in 80 cm or 7 inch round cake pans. I saved a bit of batter to make the dome head for the lady hat. Then I baked 3 fifths of the batter in one pan and 2 fifths in another pan. I cut the first cake horizontally in 3 and the second cake in 2. Line your cake pan with plastic foil and, if needed, use acetate sheets or plastic folders to create a color and raise the size of your pan. Place the first cake layer on the bottom of the pan and moisten it with sugar syrup. Once you make the mascarpone mousse, you have to use it immediately. Otherwise, the gelatin will start setting and your mousse won't be smooth and creamy anymore. Spread half of the mascarpone mousse and place the second cake layer on top. Moisten it with sugar syrup. You will need to assemble another cake like this with one layer of cake, one of mousse and another one of cake. I used one pan only, so after I assembled the first cake, I just placed some plastic foil on top to separate the first assembled cake from the second. Cover the cakes with plastic foil and refrigerate them for at least 6 hours or overnight so that the gelatin sets properly. Take your cakes out of the fridge and remove them from the pan. I usually make the ganache the day before and whip it the next day when I'm ready to fill my cakes. It takes just 2 minutes to whip it and mix it with the ground walnuts. Spread some ganache on a cake board and place the fifth layer of cake on top. Moisten it with sugar syrup and spread half of the whipped chocolate ganache on top. Place on top one of the cakes you filled with mascarpone mousse before. Spread the remaining whipped chocolate ganache on top. Lastly, add on top the second cake you filled with mascarpone mousse. And now let's move on to frosting the cake. I used a simple chocolate ganache buttercream to frost the cake. The frosting recipe is extremely easy. See the link in the video description. No matter how much you want to make, the ratio of white chocolate to whipping cream to butter is always the same, 1 to 1 to 1. Apply a thin layer of frosting to crumb coat the cake. Smooth it out using a spatula. Because the hat that's placed on top is not super light, I created support for my cake using bubble tea straws. Cut three bubble tea straws to the height of the cake and then insert them into the cake to form a triangle. Insert each of them about 3.9 cm or 1.5 inches away from the edge. Refrigerate the cake for at least one hour before applying the next coat of frosting. Apply the remaining frosting and smooth it out using a spatula and a cake scraper. When the sides are fully covered with frosting, hold the cake scraper at a 90 degree angle parallel with the cake as you rotate the turntable. Use the spatula to swipe the outer edges of the frosting on the top of the cake toward the center of the cake. The top doesn't have to be perfectly smooth as you will place the hat on top. I saved a bit of frosting and color it in burgundy, a deep reddish brown color. To achieve this color, you need to mix in oil based food coloring, two parts red and one part blue. I apply dots of burgundy frosting with a spatula on the sides of the cake. Then I just use a cake scraper to smooth the frosting on the sides and give it this effect. Spread a bit of frosting on top of your cake. Place a 13 cm or 5 inch cake board on top. Then place the hat on top. And that's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.